What's good, everybody? David A.K. and Straight Face Gamer here, and we are back with more of The Walking Dead, episode one, part four. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's very crazy as hell. Okay. I have an axe. I have a newspaper. What's this? Oh, no, I don't need to go in there. All right, let's talk to this guy. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back to the motorhead. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess, but that's not me. I'm not giving up, not for anything. Good, man, good. You let her do it, you know? You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for her, Glenn. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Did you guys see that lag? A little bit of lag at the end. Let's, uh, let's talk to this Brock. story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio? That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. See, this is the type of story that, um, whoa, yeah, this is the type of story that I feel good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes. Yes, I do. Let's have a look around. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this wouldn't be a good movie. It only needs to be like, I guess, a TV series, you know, but this is the Telltale version. The Telltale Games version is pretty badass. The, um... The TV show is pretty good. I, I advise everybody check that out. The game, <laughs> The Walking Dead Survival Instinct, I'll play it if you guys want me to, but I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to go out my way to play it. I can't reach that brick. Uh, we have an axe. Let's, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Awesome. Now to distract those things carefully. Calm your tits. I can't reach that brick. Yes, you, dude. Yes, you can. Brick here, we're about to make some noise. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Oh. 
Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to Mom and Dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you were here to take care of all of it, that helped. This isn't good. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Hurry. Well, folks, the shit has literally hit the fan. <laughs> we gotta do some shit. Look at that, a junkie. Got a screwdriver in a in a shoulder. Man, this game is phenomenal. Telltale, if you guys are watching my videos, you guys have did a excellent ass game. <laughs> this is this is excellent. This this actually makes me want to get the Wolf Among Us. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. All right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know... I should know what? Huh? You said I should know... Shit! Are you sure? Shit! Oh, shit! Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. The window is screwed. Go. Hey. 
I found something! Man, the storyline is awesome. Some shit like that. Oh god. I can't wait to kick his ass. Oh, I'ma kick his ass. What kind of shit is that? I saved your ass, bitch. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta's been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all precincts. Citizens are currently advised to stay in their homes or move towards the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, and Orlando. If citizens choose to stay in their homes, they are urged to be near their radios and await further instructions. Moving to the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, or Orlando off, may become necessary oh, in order to oh, the safety of all citizens. It was so awesome. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta has been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all precincts. Citizens are currently advised to stay in their homes or move towards the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, and Orlando. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage 9 I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. You gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Where's that old ass man at? I'm gonna whoop his ass. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. 
But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. Man, I love the amount of respect that you have. It's pretty nice. Alright. Where's his where's that old ass bastard at? Oh, she's gonna be feeling sad. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I thought you needed the help. Ah, that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. <laughs> she wants the D. It's official. She officially wants the D. Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. Fuck you looking at. You know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. <sighs> Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Insane. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Well, this video. Oh, let me shut up real quick. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. 
I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. I have all of them, so we can keep this train going. Let's see, lied to Herschel. You and 63% were honest. Okay. 49% chose Duck. Okay. Doug or Carly? <laughs> Damn near everybody. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Damn near everybody chose uh, Carly. I'm telling you, man, she wants the D. Either way, Thank you guys for watching this video, man. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. I do appreciate it. And we will be back with more The Walking Dead, except it will be with Episode 2. And, uh, yeah, see you guys later. Peace.